everybody, I'm Joshua from Tech Savvy Nerds, and today I'll be showing you a pretty cool little app I found called Smart Wi-Fi Toggler. What this app does, it sets boundaries for Wi-Fi. If you are leaving the house and you forget to turn off your Wi-Fi, it will automatically turn it off for you. You can set the current time you want it to go off and how many seconds you want it to search for Wi-Fi when you're heading back home. So let's go and get on to this. So, as we get to the app, it says Smart Wi-Fi Toggler, and I'll give you the introduction of the app right there. Sorry about that. And it says, now that you know what this app's all about, let's start configuring Smart Wi-Fi Toggler. Swipe the next page to begin. So, I'm going to do that. Uh, disconnection timeout. So currently, the timeout is set to 30 seconds. For me, I leave the house pretty quickly in the morning to head off to school or to work. So I will set it to 10 seconds, okay just kidding, 15 seconds. So once you have that, go ahead and swipe that to continue. So what this part is, start searching for another Wi-Fi uh, network if you're getting close to one. Currently the value is set to 45 seconds. Unless you don't want that to uh, be enabled, go ahead and turn that off. Swipe that again. Would you like smart? Wi-Fi toggle to start up automatically on boot. You can have that on or off if you want. I recommend not having it on unless you're on the go all the time and once you boot up your phone you're leaving right away. So if in that case go ahead and press yes. And the other one says would you want it to run in a persistent mode? Any of the guys know what that is? Go and go for it. If you don't there's a little question mark right there which it will tell you what it is about. So, just swipe it again. It says, okay, we're all done with this. Um, enjoy your new app. It'll just tell you a, a little thing right here. Tell you about the auto disconnect or auto connect enabled. And then it'll give you some more general information down there. Go and press finish. Tell you the change log. Unless you guys aren't interested in uh, checking out the latest version or what the other earlier versions were. Uh, just go and press close. So, and it says to keep better track, all that good stuff, read that if you want, close, and press start. And a little thing will pop up at the top, and it will show you it is running. So, if you guys like this video, please thumbs it up down below, subscribe for more videos like this, and I will catch you guys later.